population at a full snow 5 and snow 6 and authors are jen si chen hui jin jian zhang ting kui ling ding and yu jin and first author jen si will present this paper Hello everyone. I'm Shijun from PRA SSF, Information Engineering University. Now let me introduce you our work on the two string ciphers, so five and so six. This is a joint work with Jin Chunhui, Zhang Jian, Cui Ting, Ding Lin, and Jin Yu. I will make the presentation from the following five aspects: the brief description of so five and so six. The way to find the linear approximations of SNOW5, the automatic searching tool we use, a class of binary linear approximations of SNOW5, and the correlation attack on full SNOW5 and SNOW6. SNOW5 is a new member of SNOW family proposed in 2018, and was announced satisfying the 256-bit security level for the 5G system. In 2021, Snow 6 was proposed as an improved version of Snow 5. This is the framework of Snow 5. Like most FSR-based string servers, it consists of an FSR part and an FSM part. Each type of the FSR and and each memory has a scale of 128 bits. This leads to difficulties to find the distinguishers for correlation attacks. Snow 6 is the same as Snow 5, except the tab T2 is switched to the left half. The previous results are listed here. As we can see, there is no result faster than exhaustive key search on Snow 5 or Snow 6. Now we introduce our way to construct the correlation attack distinguisher. Our motivation is to find a biased binary approximation of this form. A distinguisher only relates to the output words and the FSR states. The method is to convert the linear approximation equation into the approximation of a composite function. Besides, there is a linear relationship. Between the four types, meaning we can use three of them to generate the rest one. For the approximation of a composite function, we can compute the correlation by the widely used Welsh spectrum theory. It is worth noting that the input variables x in this formula must be mutually independent and uniformly distributed. The core step is to compute the correlation of the distinguisher. We expand it and get the equivalent linear approximation equation, and observe that the black variables can be generated by the red ones, because there is a one-to-one -one mapping between the red variables and the memories R1, R2, R3, and the three FSR types. So it is easy to get the function that can generate the black variables using the red ones, and the correlation of the equation is exactly the Welsh spectrum of this function. And we construct six sub functions and their composite function f. Thus, we have theorem one. The correlation of this linear approximation of the function f is equal to that of the distinguisher. By this way, we convert the problem of finding distinguishers into searching for linear approximations of function f equivalently, and we can evaluate the correlation of linear approximations by mirroring the linear trails directly. If this equation holds. We will get a linear approximation equation contains only the output words, namely a distinguisher for distinguishing attack. When the equation does not work, we shall get a distinguisher for correlation attack. 
The linear approximation process is shown here, and we can search for linear trails containing it. The correlation of a linear trail can be calculated by this formula and get the accurate correlation of an approximation by summing up all the correlations of the trails containing it. For snow 5, we can get the accurate correlation by exhausting the intermediate masks A, B, C, D, and Q. We modeled a set-based automatic search program and use the STP server to search for linear trails with high correlations. There are two nonlinear non transformations in the approximation process, the modular addition and the S-box. For modular addition, the characterization based on both SET and MILP have been given. We can characterize it in this way. Z is the dummy variable. T is the parameter used to keep the modular addition the same precision as S-box is. Here is the characterization of the S-box of AES. We first adopt the idea of Abdel Kalak to split the linear correlation A table into eight Boolean functions. Then we need to get the product of some representation of each Boolean function and convert it into a series of shorter constraints that are fully satisfied by the software logical Friday. Finally, we add the bijective constraint. We can see that fk equals 1 if and only if the corresponding absolute correlation equals 4 times k divided by 256. As STP server does not support the floating point data type, we also use the parameter t to adjust its accuracy. The absolute correlation of a trail can be evaluated by summing up degrees of the modular additions and the S boxes. After STP server returns a linear trail, we verify it, recompute its correlation and uh, get its sign. We can keep searching for other solutions by adding these constraints to avoid uh, the same solution, and we can approximate the accurate correlation step by step in this way. And the best trial we found is this one. Well, we also focus, focus on another trial with a smaller absolute correlation. In fact, the trials we've searched out have part of masks in common, and we can get the accurate correlation of this type of approximations by exhausting the intermediate masks. By the property of the modular addition, we can reduce the exhaust of C to 255, and so as A, B, and Q. For D, we proved that zero is the unique solution. Thus, we only need to exhaust the four bytes to get all the trials with zero correlations and reach the accurate correlation for fixed alpha, beta, gamma, L, M, N, and H. We can also traverse two bytes of alpha and beta to find the absolute correlations as large as possible. Based on the two trials we have searched out, we calculated their correlations. The second one is the best result we got. The last part is to launch a correlation on snow 5 using the distinguisher. Assume u and u hat are the initial state and the guest initial state respectively. The distinguisher will show the correlation if u hat equals u. Otherwise, the distinguisher phi t shall be uniformly distributed. We cannot guess all the initial state speeds at once, so we will find some effective collisions such that part of the masks of the initial state are zero in the pre-processing stage. 
By collision, we can get parity check equations of this form, which only contains part of the initial state bits. The number of check equations can be calculated from the collision probability. In processing stage, we set up the statistic T. Evaluate each parity check equation by plugging output words and guess the initial states and predict the u-hat that maximizes t as the correct one. For the remaining bits, we can recover them by repeating the same process. Thus, we launch a correlation attack on snow 5. To the best of our, of our knowledge, this is the first attack on full snow 5, with the time complexity less than exhaustive key search. For snow 6, we can construct uh, sub-functions and uh, composite function in the same way. As the four LFSR types are mutually independent in SNOW 6, we shall take all of them as the input variables, which differs from the composite function of SNOW 5. Using the same method, we can get the linear approximation process of it and the correlations of linear shots. Compared with the trials of C5, we have the observation that the linear approximation trials of C6 correspond one-to-one -to, -one to the trials with D equals zero of C5. And this observation indicates the set consisting of all linear trials of C6 is a subset of that of C5. So the results of SNOW-5 are also appropriate for SNOW-6, and the correlation attack on SNOW-5 is effective for SNOW-6 as well. This is also the first attack better than exhaustive key search on full SNOW-6. To summarize, we propose a carefully designed method to convert the linear approximation of the LFSR M part of SNOW 5 into that of a composite function equivalent. Based on this method, we present a full coverage automatic search of SNOW 5 and find a valid binary distinguisher. Using this approximation, we mount the first correlation attack on full SNOW 5 with a time complexity less than exhaustive key search, and we prove the the correlation attack is effective for SNOW 6 as well. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Now, question? Any question, comments? Okay. Then let us thank speaker again.